Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study equations. This is an introduction to equations if you have never studied them before. Now what is an equation? It is something where you have an expression on one side, equal sign in between, and an expression on the other side. Now what is an expression, you might wonder? That is something that has numbers and letters and mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, square root, exponentiation, and so on. I have examples here of equations. On this side there is an expression, equal sign, and then on this side there is another expression. Of course we call them, call these two sides, the left and right sides of the equation. Here's an equation, 0 equals 10. It is an equation, but it's a false equation, okay? And here's an equation, x plus x squared minus 15 equals 0. On this side, on the right side, we have an expression because a single number is an expression. And this is an expression, there's letters and numbers and mathematical operations. Same is true of here, there's 2 divided by square root of x equals negative 5 divided by 2x squared. There's an expression, equal sign, and an expression. So it's an equation. What do we do with equations then is usually we try to solve them and solving an equation means that we need to find a value for the variable or variables in the equation so that the equation becomes true. Like we saw here, over here was a false equation. It's possible for an equation to be false. If I say I have this equation and if I just said oh x equals 5 and then I check it out it might not become a true equation because I have 5 plus 5 squared, that's 25. So I have 5 and 25, that's 30. 30 minus 15, well that's not 0. So x equals 5 is not a solution to this equation. Now, is x equals 5 a root for the equation here? Root is another word for solution, okay? That to check this is very simple. I just substitute 5 in place of x here. So I write this equation 5 squared minus 25 equals 0. And I calculate this expression here on the left side. 5 squared is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. So it is 0 here and 0 on the other side. So yes, the equation checks. It is a root. How about here? Is x equals 1 a solution for this equation? I'll do the same. I'll just write 1 in place of x. So I get 2 over 2 times 1 equals 0. Now here I calculate 2 times 1. That's 2. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I get 1 equals 0. That happens to be a false equation, right? So then my answer to this question is no, it is not a solution. In fact, this equation has no solutions, okay? Because no matter 2 divided by any number, you'll never get 0 from that kind of division. 2 divided by something, you're never going to get 0, okay? Now, here's another type of problem that you can find in math books. Find the roots of the equation, da da da. Find the roots of the equation x cubed minus 3x equals 0. In the set, here's a set. Now what's a set? Set is a collection of objects and this set has numbers in it. And um, when we need to find the roots of the equation in this set, then all you need to do is try each one of these numbers here in the equation and check if it makes it true. And this equation might have a solution here. It might also have other solutions, some numbers that are not in this set, but we don't have to worry about those at all. All you need to do is try if any of those would fulfill this equation. So let's try 0, for example. Okay, so I will write 0 to the third power minus 3 times 0 equals 0. Okay, this is 0 minus 0. This is a true equation. So 0 is a root, okay? Let me circle it. 0 is a root. Then I'll try 5. 
5 to the third power minus 3 times 5 equals 0. This is 125, this is 15. Nope, this is a false equation now, so that didn't work. Then I tried 2. 2 to the third power minus 3 times 2. This is 8, this is 6. No. Then 1, 1 to the third power minus 3 times 1. This is 1, this is 3. Nope. And then I try 3, 3 to the third power minus 3 times 3 equals 0. This is 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. This is 9. Nope. And then 4. 4 to the third power minus 3 times 4. No, that won't work either. Okay, so I found the only solution in this set. Now, let's study a little bit how to solve equations, how to solve simple equations. The solving of equation is based on this principle, that you can add the same number to both sides of the equation and it still stays equal. The equality stays there. And you can subtract the same number from both sides of the equation and the, the both sides will still stay equal. And you can multiply both sides of the equation by some same number and then you can divide both sides of the equation by the same number. I have illustrated these principles in my other videos that have problems with pan balance, okay? You can think of a seesaw or a balance that has two sides, okay? Or a pan balance and then if you have equal weights on both sides and you add the same number to both sides, you still have equal weights. It still stays balanced. Or if you take away the same amount of stuff from both sides, it still stays balanced. Or if you multiply both sides by the same number, you know, double both sides or whatever, it still stays balanced. So let's use those principles here with these simple equations. x plus 31 equals 92. The main idea we have here is that we want to have x alone on this side. We want to get rid of this number 31 on this side and then x would be alone, right? It's called isolating the variable. We want to isolate the variable on one side. Make it lonely, you know, make it alone. So we need to get rid of 31. The way to get rid of this 31 is to subtract it. But we need to subtract the same number from both sides. I cannot just subtract 31. From here, I have to subtract 31 from both sides. So that's what I will do. I'll mark it here now. I'll subtract 31 from this side and from this side, okay? Let's see what we get. On this side, x plus 31 minus 31 leaves x alone. On this side, I calculate 92 minus 31, so that is 61. Okay, that's solved it. After I have solved my equation, then I can check it by putting 61 in place of x in my original equation. 61 plus 31. Is it 92? Yes, it is. The equation checks. Here, 5x equals 90. This is 5 times x equals 90. We call it a multiplication equation because the x is multiplied by some number. And to solve it, I will use the opposite operation. I'll use division to solve it. I'll divide both sides by 5. Okay, I could mark it like this. Divide by 5, divide by 5. And 5 times x divided by 5 will leave me x alone. On this side I need to calculate 90 divided by 5, which is 18. Okay, now I have a solution, but now I'll check it. I'll put the 18 here in the original equation. 5 times 18, is it 19? Yes, it is. It checks. This is a division equation. x is divided by some number. So we use the opposite operation. We use multiplication to solve it, and we multiply both sides by 4. I'll show you another way to notate this, another way to write it down, and that is that I have like a marginal notes here, margin, and over here I write what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. And then I apply that. Okay, x divided by 4 times 4 leaves me x alone. And then 31 times 4 is 124. And then I can again check it. Is 124 divided by 4 really 31? Yes. So the equation checks. Here, an addition equation, okay, because 
to the variable we add 5.2. This might look simpler if you switch these two numbers y and 5.2 like this because you can add in any order right so it's fine to switch these and now we can see what we need to do is subtract okay subtract this number from both sides I'll use my marginal note here I'm gonna subtract this number from both sides and it leaves y alone which is what we want y is isolated now and over here on the other side I need to subtract 8.6 minus 5.2 and that would be 3.4 again the last step is to check put this number here back here 5.2 plus 3.4 is it really 8.6 yes so it checks over here think about this for a moment can you solve it This is here is a fraction, 1 seventh times A equals 41. But 1 seventh times A is the same as A divided by 7. And what a way to solve it now is of course to multiply both sides by 7. Okay, I hope you can see that. If you divide a number by 7, it is the same as finding 1 seventh of the number, 1 seventh times the number. So I now multiply both sides by 7. And then A is now isolated all alone here. And 7 times 41 is 280 and then 7. Yeah. Lastly, a subtraction equation, S minus 15 equals 172. We are subtracting 15 from the variable so that's why it's called a subtraction equation it is solved by adding okay the opposite operation again if I add 15 then minus 15 plus 15 will cancel each other it's like doing nothing if you subtract 15 add 15 then that's nothing so what I will do is I will add 15 to both sides and then that leaves s alone here on the other side, I have to add in my head, I get 187. Okay, we're all done. I hope this was helpful.